And then even get deleted or yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, there's no more photo books. There's no more. There's nothing really yeah. physical yeah. anymore. Yeah. So I mean, like, and the work, the best thing you can do is take those and go print it and make a photo book if you want to continue with life. Yeah. You look back at all the pictures, I ain't gonna digitize it, man. Just take just cause yeah. the memories, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't come back. Yeah. Gotta, gotta appreciate life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can say that again, so. Well, truthfully, like, this, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to do this because, like, I just don't think this is, that these types of things really happen, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I wanted to show y'all, like, our appreciation for your, your dedication to the craft and to, um, the platform and, you know, and just, and create, also just, like, create traditions, like, you know, um, I'm into like traditions, um, so um, I want to do this annually, and may not, may or may not be here. You know, but like each year, I want to bring the MVP club together. You know what I'm saying? And and just appreciate y'all and like celebrate y'all, give y'all y'all flowers, and just cater to y'all in, in some way. Um, and and then that just be something that um, is part of. The, the the culture of having been a part of the platform in, in such a like significant way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I appreciate y'all and like that's that's really what what today is about. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's showing giving y'all y'all flowers for like thank you saying. Right. Appreciate that. I appreciate you. Bro. Thank you, sir. Yes indeed. And so I right, so I have some questions for y'all, but we can we can Everybody can, you know, see my face. Hey, do, do y'all know what y'all got on your face right here? Mm -hmm. Ricotta toast. Yeah. Ricotta toast? Yeah, the ricotta toast for me. That's all I really wanted. The champagne is good. Uh, yeah. French toast, um, old eggs, and home fries. It's called something else, though. It has a better name than what I'm saying about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the uh, steak freaks. I think, I think that's how you say it, steak freaks. Steak talk, talk. Is it? No, 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 Fritz, 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 Looks good, though. Fritz, yeah. It does look good. Really Are the Fritz good. the fries, though? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Fritz, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, the German, German fries. <laughs> so then they, because it didn't say steak and freaks. It was nah, like, steak. It was nah, like steak it's steak and freaks. It's called house fries on the thing, but it's the Fritz and fries. Let's okay. wow. see what yeah, this is about. Asian. See, I would say Asian pair. Like Asian pears. Mm. Yes, have you ever had Asian pears? They're very good. Asian pears are amazing. Right? They're really good. They're very good. I don't think I've ever come across them. They're like really super, <coughs> off, like super <coughs> juicy pears. Like, mm -hmm. right into it. You say it's too much. You said pears. They talk about it. So, like, it's got to kind of throw it out there. But, you're talking about your pears, I think of Rick Ross. How you lose so much weight? Pears. Hey, I've never had popcorn on salad. This is a good one. Is it? Basically, you want seven? Seven. Dang. That was a good number. That ain't even Jordan. That's like. It's his fault. Back to back. It's my fault. He's won seven total. He won. Yeah, that's gonna be my fault. He's won seven. You won what? Five? Hey, now I won three. Talking back. Yeah, that's fine. We want you back three. Anyway. Yo, last year, it was last year or 2019. Trade model, that freestyle. Mm -hmm. that freestyle yeah, it's 2019. How far did you go with that? 100 days. Yeah, that was yeah, fine. Different. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I was meant to say that. Thank you. That thank, was thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That joke wasn't appreciated. Like, like, <laughs> no, like, <laughs> it wasn't. Y'all know, like, no, right. I appreciate you all saying it. Right. 
But that joint should have went like viral. Like mm-hmm. I should have been posting on the shade now. room and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. You should have been there by the number thirty right. something. Right. It should have been hot, hot. Like, yeah, right. You know, the sun next day. I mean, you know, that's the You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, like we do this. You know what I'm saying? So, nice. you know, it's so like. It's like second nature. The videos yeah, yeah. The videos you know what the problem is? They are, you know, I archived them. Just to make them the people. Pay, yeah. People really don't. don't. The people Thank don't you. understand what it takes to, to do, do that. it. Right. So, yeah. we'll, ex- we'll appreciate that a whole lot more than the general public or right. mm-hmm. media source or mm-hmm. anything like that. Because so we know what it takes to right. even. Mm-hmm. Have to write every day like that, let mm-hmm. alone yeah. memorize it. In the dedication, it. Yeah. You, yeah. you wasn't reading nothing, you were going straight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, was just like, and, and some of it, some of it was old stuff, but like most most of the, the hundred days. No, that was for that day. Come on, like, come on. Yeah, that was in the house. Son was in the woods. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right, dedication. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, like. To the public, it's, it's uh, 100 posts, right? Mm-hmm. So right. right to right. us is, no, I processed all of this information Word, yeah. bro, and wrote it down and committed it to memory. Mm-hmm. And, come on, that's it's a different level of dedication. Thank you. Man. Yeah, sure. thank you, man. I, I made sure that each one had at least 16 because at first... I was doing forty or more. Like right. then by the then, yeah, then by the thirties, I started getting smart. I was like, I was like, all right, yeah. let me let me let me break this down a little bit. Wow. A little bit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then like then I was learning. I, I would see people, you know, putting their words up like as they rap and stuff. I'm like, dang, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that is crazy. And that's cool because um, you know some people some people who are like deaf or you know have a um, a handicap or something that they can read. Well, it's really good. It's very bad. You can tell like, 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 a hundred different ones. You only get the same option on one day. Mm-hmm. You know, record it all at one time. I'm like, nah, every day he's coming back. <laughs> same, like, you know, just different spot where he at. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was kind of just to, uh, just so that I can do everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. okay, so this is going to be, this is going to be about God. This is going to be about life. This is going to be about Something that's going on across the world. This this one's going to be for a girl. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So I, I just wanted to show I can do everything because when you talk about God, when you talk about Jesus, a lot of people box you in and they be like, "Oh, okay, you're you're the gospel." And it's like, no, you're absolutely correct. I, I like I'm a I'm gonna speak the gospel in my songs. You know what I'm saying? That's that's who I am. But um, don't think that I can't do everything. You know what I'm saying? I can do everything. I just you know, I I think it's a little more powerful, you know, when I talk about this particular right. thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm with you 100% on that. Because you know. I can I can do I can do all the, the you know the the um you know the Drake kind of stuff, but like I'm mm-hmm. not Drake. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he's great at that. Yeah. Like I, you know, that's it not that's not my yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Name, bro. So. I wanted to ask y'all. Um, one, and I can get you know get each of y'all's take. I'm gonna combine these three questions into one question. Okay. So, if y'all can tell me from y'all perspective what rapidly has meant to y'all, how it's impacted your approach to either rap or your career and what it means to be MVP <laughs> to you. I'm like the first MVP guy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. Sure speak up a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so yes. for, for me, RVA Rap Elite, um, it was originally called the Lyricist Lounge. Right. So, the, the moment I, I got on stage, I'm like, okay, I'm home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I that's what I do. I, I'm into lyricism, you know? Um, and ever since I started coming down to Richmond from Maryland, you know, Richmond has kind of been a sister city for me. Like, because, you know, I'm, I'm from PG County, uh, Maryland, but, you know, you have these artists that, like, they're from a certain city but then they have one city that just goes crazy for them you know what I'm saying it's like so out in DC like Scarface 
really is loved by DC. You know what I'm saying? Like that's so he he's he considers DC like a sister city for him. You know what I'm saying? Where you, that's not where you're from, but you get love out there, and I, I I do be getting love like out here in Richmond, and you know I've really appreciated um, rapping for that. You know what I'm saying? So it's been it's been dope. I've, I've been able to connect with some real top tier talent out here too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. From um, you know from vintage and radio, you know basic to Mike Millions. You know what I'm saying? So it's been it's been cool. Um, it's, it's been it's been dope, you know. Mm-hmm. Nah, we appreciate you, bro. Like, and like, I think when you were first coming down, I didn't. I don't think I was even like aware that you were coming from so far. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's a, a big kudos. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As well. And now that you are recognized as an MVP, what does that? What significance does that hold to you as far as your space? In the rap league legacy, I mm, excuse me. I just appreciate the fact that I'm. I was the MVP and I rep God. You know what I'm saying? Like so. So then, so then people know. Like, okay, this is what God's about. God is about doing things great at a masterful level. So that's what I do when I when I rap. It's to remind you that this is God's property right here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't the devils, cause you know you gonna see you gonna see people that are successful and stuff, and they are the devil's property. You know what I'm saying? But nah, this is this is this is one of his sons. This is one of God's sons, right here. You know, so um, you know it's all it's all praise and glory to him. You know, that's that's what being MVP means to me. It's not about me. It's about people saying, oh wow, you know this isn't a, this isn't a preacher or anything, but. Why does he care about this so much? He's good at rapping. Why does he care about God so much? Let me find out about Jesus. And, you know, if, if that d- does that for somebody, then I've done my job. All right. Nice. That's, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Vintage. Same questions. I forgot the question. Bro. Oh, so um, the significance of RBA Rap Elite to you and how it's impacted your approach to rap in your career and what it means to be uh, MVP. Right. Well, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity, you know, for even giving the opportunity to be able to be MVP. Uh, rap Elite means a whole lot. More than music, more than just getting up there kicking bars, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like what Matter of fact, exactly what Trademark said. Brought and bring it back to when it was called uh, Lyricist Lounge. When you heard the Lyricist Lounge, first of all, there wasn't nothing like that going on in the city. So once you heard about it, that gave you a home if you were a lyricist. So it gave you a home somewhere to come to. It almost felt like it was every night. I can't even remember if it was once a month, once a week anymore. I don't even know. It was once a month. Shit felt like every night. So, you know what I'm saying? You come up in there, it was like, it was different. That joint gave you a sense of uh, uh, finding yourself or where you want to be at as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Because you got exposed by all the other artists in the city. And then you were able to make your connection, you know, if if that's what you're about. You know, you can't just be in a room full of artists and not make a connection. If you don't, then that's your mess up, you know what I'm saying? Right. And um, so with that being said, that joint gave you, like, it, it helped me find myself a little more as being an artist. And then <clears throat> being MVP, that just gave, that just boosted my, my confidence a lot more. Then, you know... It may sound funny, but being around all the people that I was around without having to go up to them and say, look, I'm nice. You know, I, y'all, 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 I'm nice. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I got up there, showed and proved, and then motherfuckers knew I was nice. You know what I'm saying? They knew I had some heat. So with being MVP, that's like showing and proving. Bam, you get the, you know, you top tier. Like my brother said, that's top tier rapping. And they let you know that. We respect your boss, so being being MVP, it just make it just gave you, the, it just gave me the feeling that the people that I'm around, my peers, respect my boss. It only gonna make me better, you know what I'm saying? Because you 
It just makes you better, you know what I'm saying? It just makes you better. <laughs> Real talk. Basic uh, season three MVP, our newest MVP. Um, same same questions for you. Rap Elite. Rap Elite uh, really tested really tested whether or not I could I could rap or not. It really uh before this I, I never had gotten into a cypher uh competition or anything like that before. Mm-hmm. It was just rap, just music. And so I did it and um I quickly learned that you must quickly adapt in this setting in order to be successful. So um it taught me how to write punchlines and how to write different things. It really just gave me a lot of tools that I wasn't using before. You know what I'm saying? I've done punchlines and songs and stuff before, but it's different in the ciphers, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's uh it's really changed like the trajectory of how I'm going to make music now. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So definitely learned a lot with it. Um being M V P showed me that, you know, perseverance is is uh something I think is important for every winner. You must stick stick to the grind and and, and, and believe. And so you know, not winning it that year that he won, that motivated me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep it fired up, motivated me. So it's like, you know, I gotta get better. I gotta do this better. You know what I'm saying? I gotta. So when the MVP just showed me that uh, perseverance and hard work, man, it cannot be denied. Uh, that's a fact. It be that's a fact. Now, I appreciate, appreciate each of y'all um, perspective on it and, and, and your your take on on platform and what it's meant to you and like a lot of the things that y'all have said is like our attention and, and how we structure rap lead and some of the things that um, our, our ethics and how we go about making this thing work um, there's certain things that we don't do that other platforms do um, we don't you know we don't really take payment for performances and we don't really show off Things that are that are necessarily outside of what it is, the, the, the cornerstones of what rap lead is about. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, people pay to participate in the cipher, um, but even that has a purpose in beyond money. Um, and one of the reasons why um, we take payment for the cipher is because it's a commitment. If an artist signs up for the cipher and we pay, you know that that amount of money, then not only will you more than likely show up, but more than likely when you turn that beat on and you start pushing your pen, you're going to want to make the best out of the opportunity and, and, and getting the footage, you know what I'm saying, that you're going to have. You're going to want that footage to be of value. That has a purpose, too. So um, the fact that you guys have dedicated yourselves, you, you to having to travel um, in order to come, that, that means a lot. Um, so my second question, and I'll start back with the trademark, is what would you say was your greatest obstacle in your path to becoming MVP? Um, I don't think you have one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> greatest obstacle in the path? Yeah, now that could be it could be competition, it could be Preparation, it could be any of those things. Like, you know, what I guess would you say was most challenging in in that season that she became MVP? Or well, was it challenging? That's a that's a big <laughs> answer. Well. Did I go? Did I go against you one time? Yeah, vintage, vintage was nice. I was like, I remember I saw um, I saw episode four, and I was the one. Remember, I, I couldn't go to that one. I mean, it, it was a while ago, but I'm acting like we were just. Um, and I remember I saw vintage, and I was like, oh, hold on, because <laughs> I had won episode three. Vintage was going. I was like, I showed my my brother. I was like, I was like, hey, bro, you think? He was like, he was like, yeah, now he's nice. I think you can get him though. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, oh. And then when we did episode five, so yeah, but that season, yeah, absolutely. Finish, finish was, was um, really 
<laughs> then it's and then we're just talking about just that season, right? Yeah, just that season. Oh, okay, okay. Because I then I was going to go to basic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, just that season that you that you won the MVP was it? Because I mean, like I said, I, it could have been that you had to travel. That's I mean, that's the one. That's in and of itself. I think that was it. Uh huh. <laughs> that's the the one time that the only reason that I did not uh win that. Uh, what was it? The seventh episode, I think, of that. Cause I had I had messed up. I forgot my words. Oh, yeah. oh I was exhausted that day. Cause I had I was uh I was out in the sun all day. Uh, I think Will Sorrell got it the, from the next time. Yeah, 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 it, it was, it was. Yeah, I had I was exhausted yeah, and um yeah, yeah. from from being out. I was outside. It was a real hot day. We were doing like community service. Um, for the kids out in DC, right, and um, and then I still drove down there, mm-hmm. and that I, I didn't know how tired I was until mm-hmm. I got up there and and just went blank. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, dang, <laughs> and I still might have had bar the night. Say <laughs> 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 hey. less. So, in season two, what would you say was your greatest challenge in becoming? Um, honestly, man, I don't, I can't really say. I guess it would just be being consistent. You know what I mean? Trying to trying to um, get as much wins as I could after I was in the running lead. You know what I mean? And trying to stay. So that probably was my biggest challenge with all the rappers that was coming. Basic came in. Basic was there. Tone Red was acting a fucking fool. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all had came out one night. Right. Trademark, Chris Madison, Red was out that night. I don't know, was Basic there that night? What was it? Last year? The joint when we was at the brewery. That was oh, the yeah. second season, right? Yeah, I think that oh was, yeah, they, that was Tone Red. Yeah, but the Tone Red. Yeah, that was the one before. We'll get to that because I got robbed that time. The one that me and you were in, we were in the dark room though. That was uh, the one that me and you were in. Right. Okay. Yeah, you, um, okay. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's I right. I got robbed in that one too, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That was a. Uh, I think that was the first episode of season three, which was mm-hmm. when okay we came when all of y'all were in it together. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, I go back and I watch that episode. It was so many fire verses. Son, it was too much. It's always too many verses. And it, so that was when we first started. Having uh, the Dewey Decimal number. System. Yeah, 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 that's the first time we put a number, a number on the on there. <laughs> that's a fact. Word. But you know what? Okay, so I'm gonna let you. No, 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 no. You gotta finish. You good, buddy? No, no, son. Come on, we round table. It's all good. Um, that's basically it, man. I was just trying to stay consistent and keep my my numbers on top before somebody creep up on me. I say that was my biggest challenge because most rappers started, you know, rappers was coming in. The weather started getting hot. People started coming out more, you know what I'm saying? And it was just getting thick in there, son. There's no game. Nobody ever plays a game when they come to RVA Rapid League. I don't think nobody get up there and play no games. Not even the sisters. Oh, God. <laughs> shout out and to the ladies. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the ladies. The word up, I want to give a toast to all RVA Rapid League. The MVPs and the soon to come MVPs, man. Word up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Word up. But that's about it, radio man. Basic. Same question. I'm getting dissed. <laughs> <laughs> so you are, you are the most dissed in the history. It's never before. It never happened to me before. Like I said, the cycle experience this whole. You know what I'm saying? And the competition wise, it was first with me. But I'm not backing down from it. Mm-hmm. So it's like I get up there and I'm front row. <laughs> And I hear this man call me out. I'm like, yo, really quick, I have two I have two options. Either I, you know what I'm saying, I try to like go the high or don't act like I don't, you know what I'm saying, pay any mind to it. Right, or right, you fight, right. back. You fight back. So I'm like, when I get on stage, all my energy is directed towards him because I'm like, oh, this is the lion's thing. This is where they get it in at. Yeah. Oh, let's get it. So, uh, yeah. but <laughs> in that moment, that was like, I had to make, that was a decision for me. Because I could have like, like, nah, like, y'all dissing, but I could have let it affect me in another way and get emotional about it. But it's not really me. It's just like, <laughs> I learned to adapt. Like, right. this is what it is. Let's fight. So, uh, but other than that, man, just honestly staying consistent as well. Because knowing that, you know, 
it's already eyes on me because I'm from out of town. And so, you know what I'm saying? It's a mark on my back. So just staying consistent and trying to be better than I was last time. I think Trademark had those same sentiments about being from out of town. It's yeah. a different hunger. It's probably yeah. a I think he looks at it differently because, you know, you're from, still from Virginia. But right. Being from right. Virginia right. and being from 757 and mm-hmm. coming yeah. to Richmond is like being in two different states. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you are out of towner. It might be worse right. because right. Right. there's more of a history and a ri- rivalry there. Yeah. I don't think, I, I think that you over, I think it was overplayed in your mind, honestly. Come on. Man. I don't think any, truthfully, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I think that was more of an enemy to you mm. in your mind than it was in reality. No. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> just like I told you, <laughs> it took me a couple of episodes to even know that she was from there. He said, right. I came with the flag on, man. And it was, <laughs> yes, but people don't, you, you got it, but you're right. But you got to remember that people wear things and people don't identify them with identity. Like, I, if I, if you could wear a bandana, you could wear a hat that says Maryland, and in your mind, you're repping Maryland. Yeah. So, to the common eye, mm-hmm. you're just, just wearing a Maryland hat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think, because a lot of <laughs> and that's just, that's just my viewpoint. But that's just my viewpoint from it because oh, I'm it face. wasn't like you wouldn't get on stage and be like, yo, I'm from Maryland. If you did that, now that that would have put a more of a target on your back. But you didn't really do that. It wasn't until later that you more I made that an identity <laughs> thing. And I think had you it could have been a hindrance to you if it if it was something that you was putting in your raps like that. But people showed you wild love. I don't did. You know what I'm saying? People just showed you wild love. You know rap, and that's the thing about Richmond too. <coughs> is we're such a, a a place where people come from other places. Mm-hmm. Most people that's that's live here, like Vintage, he's not from here. And when you listen to Vintage rap, you could tell he ain't no Richmond. Vintage has been here long enough though to have a, a connection. <coughs> To the, you good, bro? New York. Oh. Yeah, to the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought you were yeah, yeah. yeah, like that's what I'm saying. He had, he still, like, there were people that that were from Richmond that came to see you too. You know what I'm saying? Like right. that you knew before Army Rapper League. You know what I'm saying? Right. For sure. Are you finished with what you said? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not act like there isn't a Maryland and Virginia thing. There absolutely is a Maryland and Virginia thing. Y'all feel the way. Virginia say. people say Maryland can't drive. Maryland people say Virginia people can't oh, drive. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a there's that's a, a that, but that's a that's a that's a any that's a there's, Virginia that's a, in any place thing. Yeah, but and that's why I say that. But in my story, it's a Maryland and Virginia thing. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So. So it's Maryland Virginia. No, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, yeah, but I'm, is, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to paint to you um, a picture of like, like Virginia, like Richmond, we're just not really a place of bias in that sense. Like the only thing, the only place I feel like an artist may get a, a issue is, is seven by seven. seven. And that's only because that's the only place that I feel like Richmond is truly, or New York. Mm-hmm. Those are the only two places that I feel like Richmonders typically target as something different than them. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think Richmonders really care if you're from D.C. They don't really care if you're from Maryland. They don't really care if you're from North Carolina. But if you're from <laughs> 757 or you're from New York, Richmonders are like, mm, I don't know about yeah. you. Like, that's, that's, that's the thing. But, like, not... I'm not taking that away from your from yeah. what the yeah, challenge. No, I, I, I remember. I remember what people were saying in their raps. They were like, "Go home, trademark." Like, yeah, I remember. You know what I'm saying? So, and Ray and that, but this, I don't think he this, did it like go home to where you're from. This is I another thing, radio. Say, like, go home. Hold on, Trey radio. Trey hold on, hold on. Trey said that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shout out to Trey, Trey too. Yeah, yeah, this is and and this is the thing. And Trey, but he might have because Trey is Trey is. Tree. But Trey ain't from here though. Trey that's the thing. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 That's what I said. Yeah. He's he's so, but he, but it's funny that you say that because he's not 
but he is one of the most like Richmond ass Richmond. Yes, yeah, I know. Like, yeah. And he's a detailed and just giving Trey his flowers. He's a very detailed thinker in the sense yeah. of like yeah. he pays attention to things about individuals yeah. that everyone else doesn't pay attention to. Like his, his insults towards you. They'll be playful, different. but they will be personal. Yeah. Like he'll be like, if he if he roasts you, he's gonna roast you, and you'll be like, I didn't even know anybody mm-hmm. was paying attention. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, like he'll yeah, be like, yeah, yeah you shot. Okay. Yeah. Those are the like, like he's like the Nardwar mm-hmm. yeah. of of, <laughs> of, of, of like of, oh, of shout yeah. out to Trig, man, because Trig is definitely one of those people that Trig, nice. will bring out um, some things about you that somebody else may not. Recognized because I don't think I don't think people thought of they even with your video you shot your video that we first put on rapidly mm-hmm. from in Richmond yeah you know what I'm saying so it's like we're used to adopting right. people like that's just we don't have no problem with that like right, we will right. adopt you you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> right. you rock with us then you one of us yeah and I think that's and I say that coming from as a person that moved here. And Vintage being a person that moved mm-hmm. here, like people look at Vintage as a Richmond rapper, but he's is New York mm-hmm. as yeah, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. as, as you're gonna find. Right. But I, I only say that as a credit to the Richmond culture in that respect because we definitely are a open arms right. kind of place. We just used to people not fucking with us, right. and I mm-hmm. think that's that's where it becomes a a, a thing of like. Conflict where it's like, oh, oh, you because our rappers have come here and we'll be open arms for the rappers, but then when they yeah. get up there on that stage and be disrespectful, right? Mm-hmm. That's where you've seen some right. of your favorite rappers get you know, get their chain took or, right. or get pulled right. off stage right. because right. no, once we right. acknowledge <laughs> that you don't, you're not respecting where you're mm-hmm. at, mm-hmm. then it becomes a thing, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But other than that, like. You know, Richmond is like pretty much like, yo, if you come in here, that means you fuck with us. Because we're used to people not coming here. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing. The, the second thing is, in season one, the way you were promoting me coming back and, okay. and winning again, mm-hmm. that was another thing, too, that I saw as like a, come on, Richmond, like, what y'all, y'all gonna let this do for merit? Because you were saying, like, you, were, uh-huh. you remember that? You remember that? He was like, you were so so so. so, Look, 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 look. look. So that's what I'm saying. And then, uh, and he was like, I remember one time you said, you said, hold on, can anybody on the East Coast make this move? Because Charlie Richmond can't do it. So can anybody? So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I was gonna let you finish. But I remember. Chop everything that you just said up. There, there. So yes, yes, yeah, yeah, was yeah, it was yeah. yeah. so, yeah. 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 I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You know what's so funny? You say that because I think um, how rapidly is run is a combination of some experiences that I've had on other platforms in the city. Um, uh, Lorna, rest in peace to Lorna, um, Tuesday Versus is uh, the longest standing open mic in Mm -hmm. Richmond history, Mm -hmm. 16 and 17 years, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And one of the reasons why that platform has existed in the way that it has for so long is because it's... um, it's such an open arms and a loving and and a space for creatives to be creative. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why I think you get that energy from rapidly where it's, it's competitive, right. but you never feel like you're you're an outsider when you're in the building. You know what I'm saying? Right. But on the flip side, from a hip hop perspective, I also remember going to like. Bonnie B's uh, networking events mm. down at the Slip when I was like 18 years old and I was like a hungry young MC going out and participating in cyphers and turning it in. Tur- I, t- I literally turned these things into battles. It was really like an open mic. I used to play people's records and then I started battling people 
by accident. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But once it started, it became a thing that happened every week. So every week I was battling cats. So then we started doing battle tournaments and I would win the battle tournament. So it's like, I would be that dude. So it gets to the point where like Lonnie B would get on the radio and do the commercial for the event and be like, yeah, come down and, and see Blitz. He been smashing people for the last six weeks or whatever, like da da da. Or I would walk in, no lie, I walk in the building and he would be get on the mic immediately like, uh oh, Blitz is here. Who gonna go at him today? Like, <laughs> like and it wasn't stay it wasn't structured battles, like it wasn't how we do battle rap now in the sense of like you knew who you was gonna battle. It was more like you had a microphone and you know and if you wanted to come at me, you came at me. It was mostly freestyle and, or improv or whatever bars you had. You know what I'm saying? And he would put that target on my back. And like immediately, like I remember it was so bad. Um, it, it, it just, you know, that that's just the nature of like, so so I think I get that as a person that hosts this this type of event now, like I, 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 I take that energy too. And I'm, I'm yeah. like, yo, if somebody's gonna run, you know, I gotta, I gotta put that in the faces of these other MCs, especially back in season ones and twos where we weren't maxing out ciphers. Right. Mm -hmm. So you had to motivate the people right. that weren't coming out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was like more like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, y'all y'all just sitting at home, not even coming out and participating in this. Well, meanwhile, somebody from out of town coming in, winning the rap, the Richmond rap, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yo, y'all not even going to come out and mm -hmm. try, you know, try your hand to stop what's going on. Like, I thought y'all had pride. So, I would definitely attack the, the pride of like Richmond rappers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my bad. I, I need that. I need a lot. Yeah, that, that, um, that good context. <laughs> yeah, but that's really what it is. It's really more so just to say like it, it's it's the it's the thumb screw that I have on the Richmond rappers in the sense of like, yo, there's somebody from out of town making y'all look bad. I knew what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I just wanted them to come out. Like, if they won or lost, it didn't make me no difference. You know what I'm saying? Who wins and loses at Rapidly literally makes me no difference. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I mean, it's, it is called RBA. Yeah, right. that's so that's 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 the thing. So I had to it play that card. I had to yeah. play that card to the Richmond crowd. It's like, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all yeah. letting the, the out of towners run run you out of your own platform. Yeah, so you know, it, it's 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 one of those things. But <laughs> if, they, if, they, if, they, if they didn't come out to rap better than you that day. They wasn't walking away with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think a lot of people, some people feel like I've been biased towards basic. I'm say, yo, basic can be bad for a year. And I, and I say that, and, 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 and that's one of the reasons why their close season two was one of the reasons why we established the scoring process going forward. Because I felt like if people are going to be so good now, there has to be something that's solid in place to say, this was better than this. I couldn't, it, the verses were getting too good for me to be able to say yeah. without no kind of statistic right. behind it, no, this one was better than that one. Like, right. nah, that got me looking like all of this on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm like, nah, I don't want to be that guy anymore. Like, let's, let's establish judges, let's establish a scoring system and separate the judges so there's no influence between the judges mm -hmm. and let those numbers speak for themselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if people have problems with the numbers, then you just have problems with the numbers. At the end of the day, there's a reason why these different MCs and Spielberg not being an MC, but being a pure hip hop head that's into lyricism, these valued opinions are coming up with these numbers separately. Like, there's nothing to argue at this point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's, there's nothing to argue there. Like, you can still fit whatever. Because, like, on tape playback, mm -hmm. I might see scores differently. Yeah. But in live, how you made me feel in that mm -hmm. moment yeah. is what you got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what people got to realize. Because that's part of what the whole thing when you're performing is. Oh, I'll take one. I'll take one. Um, when you're performing, it's more than just your bars. Mm -hmm. it's, it's how you made the room feel. How you made the judges feel. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think my, my last question for each of y'all. Cause we got we got a couple of different spots in this building that we have to move MVP day to. 
um, is do any of you guys have your sights on a second bet? Right now, no. no. Because, because I'm battling now. And so I want to do, I want to, I have a plan for this March battle coming up that I want, I want to be able to, to execute. I really want to go ballistic. So right now I'm not really focused on the cycle right now. I want to improve something. Okay. I'm not really, I'm letting the young boys live, you know what I'm saying? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. I love them, you know what I mean? They go hard out there, so you know what I'm saying? I might come in the cypher here and there, pick up a little mic, you know, you know what I mean? Mm. Trey, are you, is this unanimous? None of y'all want a second belt? I don't know, I just, I, I like, if I come through, I just, you know, it's gotta be like a tornado. <laughs> you don't, you don't know when. Tear shit up and leave. You don't know when, you don't know when. <laughs> Is it, or that's, no that's, 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 that's no well, knock. That's no knock. Well, radio, it is a pandemic right now. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it is. <laughs> well, the cypher is tomorrow. It's private. It is. I mean, it's matched, so I'm here. you guys are not invited. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not invited. But because oh, it is shit. matched, <laughs> but no. But we are doing. We are doing private. Only people in the room. But yeah, no. You know, because you guys are in. Always have free reign to enter the cipher at any particular point that you choose, of no charge. Um, you just gotta make us aware before it maxes out. Um, so, you know, I would love to see you. Guys, I would love to see you all making a run for MVP at the same time, oh, like know. that. You know, I feel like among you guys, then you add the Tone Reds, King Fizzles. You know what I'm saying? Well, and I'm Will Young, Rosetti. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fizzles, Pen, Habib, Habib, you know. Habib, Habib, you know. Fizzles, so yeah. like, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, would love, I would love to see it. So, if, you know, you're all welcome back at any at sure. any time. For you know sure. what I'm saying? We would definitely love to have you. Um, so, definitely, you know, the door is always open. And, like I said, I, I want to see who's. At the end of this all, like when we're ten years down the line, like who's most decorated? Who got the most hoodies? Who got the most, you know, the most belts? You know what I'm saying? Who kept? Who kept this? You know, it, it does the club growth get stunted because you know what I'm saying? Because one of y'all won't don't want to let it go, and, and, and I'm cool with that because it'll keep the tab low. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but I, no, I mean, in reality, um, I just think it's, you know, you know, to me, Ric Flair's a goal. He got the title. He got six, you know, he got the belt 16 times. You know what I'm saying? So, um, We're going to start making it, clubhouse it, dudes. At the end, my brother's going to get a roll. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, uh, but now, nah, you know, another thing is, as the years go on, as the months go on, there, there'll be different things that y'all will benefit from just being a part of this club. Um, I, I can't speak offhand as to what those things will, but will be, but they'll, they'll pop up at, at random times. Yeah. Um, and um, hopefully, you know, it, you, it'll bring to y'all what, what the importance y'all have to, to me and to, to the staff and to this platform. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys have you're you're definitely rapidly family, you know what I'm saying? Royalty. You know what I'm saying? So it'll, it'll always be like that. And if you don't, you know, once we're back to live events, if you're not in the site for obviously you still have free admission to our events uh, you know, as well. So for sure. Um and I think so with that being said, and, and with y'all saying y'all not currently running for a title, who would y'all say out of the people that you're aware of that is active and rapidly has the most uh, potential to be the next MVP or to join the MVP club. Besides Tony Red, I like C Dub, man. Mm, C Dub versus the last cipher we had. It's insane. Mm. I don't think a lot of people picked up on that right. shit. Said he was. That shit would be tough. Called my French, but that song was crazy, man. <laughs> So, for you, no. for you. 
for me, it's um, I like prize, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like prize. I like uh, I like the pockets that he raps in. You know what I'm saying? I think he has the ability to be able to, to possibly do it. But also, I saw that Frank Post on. Um, y'all might not be familiar with him, but after this episode, because uh-huh. mm-hmm. I saw a couple of his battles before, and. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, MVP. Uh, I think if he keeps doing, it, maybe Tom Brady. I like. I like. I like. Tom I think Brady. that's his song. I don't want to sleep though. Cycle. I want to make. I definitely want to mention Will Young because once, once, once Will oh, Young yeah. start making moves, oh, oh man, yeah. it's hard to stop that. Brother. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I ain't yeah, even tripping. saying that because basically, yeah, nah, you know what I mean. Fast. That's super fast. Yeah, yeah. we talk about time. time. But you know, Will's also focused on the battle. Yeah. So I'm not right, sure. right, right, right. Same that's what I meant. Right, right, right. And and you saying that just further. You're not saying Will Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. You're not saying Will Young in the fact. I'm 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 not saying Will Young uh, quite a few people that were in our top twenty last year have strong possibility to to make those types of runs. You know what I'm saying? So, and then people that came in towards the end of the season last year um, as well. So, this is going to be a, a heavily contested season. The cipher is tomorrow. Um, yeah. we got, by the time you guys see this, it will have already taken place. But um, I think it's going to be uh, very. I mean, there's a lot of shit talking going on in that cipher chat. Mm. Um, yeah, they, they, <laughs> Even though I never talked in it, I missed it. You know, uh, I kept it going. I missed it. Except the old big dogs <laughs> like like Trey, Rosetti, Tom uh-huh. Red, uh-huh. and and they're more so talking shit to the new guys that have been doing well. <laughs> Calling them, calling them the bubble rappers, oh, the, bubble, the bubble, the bubble year. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like because they've been in the private cycles and mm-hmm. you know whatever, yeah. and now with a crowd. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, oh, y'all ain't even rapping. Yeah, that crowd, shit is something so different, like, though. I ain't gonna yeah, it, it's been an interesting. Like, <laughs> right, and wouldn't that have an effect on who? I mean, like. It's going to be different. It has an effect. It's just like totally. URL Come on. having, yeah. you know, yeah. it's the same. You got the caffeine rap. era of URL, um, but you you get something different out of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I think there couldn't be more of attention to what's being said yeah. in a, in a sense because you're not dealing with as much crowd reaction and right. as much distraction. Right. You um, got so rap. there's there's elements yeah. to it that that you know are highlighted in that space, but. Um, it's definitely different. It is. It's, it's, yeah. I think you know that's something that you know being in, especially towards the end where the crowds were like extremely packed. And I'm glad you got to experience that. Um, that's crazy. In that in that episode, um, because you got to experience the growth. I mean, but first season, our crowds at Strange Matter were pretty crazy nah, too. Hell yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So nah, hell yeah. it, some nights that shit was overboard. Like, yeah, wow. It, it got packed in there too. But I think that dark room element is towards before COVID was like that's crazy. peak, oh, yeah. peak crowd and energy yeah, levels. That's crazy. I think yeah, that was like night, that shit was insane one night. Like because even crazy. looking at your footage, it's like you're you're, you're, you're <laughs> rapping <laughs> and it's like you're it's like you're in the midst of it. there's you can't even get the people out the shop. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yo. and it's a sea with a sea of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. and it was just a uh, a feeling that it's like everybody knew that the platform was ascending to like another yeah. space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people that yeah. never were interested before were coming out to see what was going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, I'm excited when we get back to being able to have live events. I'm sure we'll be able to get that that same energy back. I would. Uh, oh, come on. I would say because you're talking about that, that Maryland, uh, Virginia thing, like uh, 804. Maryland battle. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm the, the only one back. to be coming out. Yeah. 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 There, there is no, there is no uh, Maryland versus uh, Richmond. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
But we just had to clear, we had to make sure that it was understood that radio started that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, after saying, Oh, you know, Trayvon, I think you I think you overplaying it in your head. Oh no 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 no. I remember I, I didn't I remember, remember doing that with so, you as much. I knew I did that with him. Yeah, you, you did it with me too. I did I, I, I went hard. Yeah, I went hard. Vintage, I went vintage hard. remember. Vintage, 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 but I, I believe well, I'm, I'm not saying I don't. I, I yeah. definitely believe. I re- that. Like I remember the crowd episode three, and then I remember the crowds episode seven and eight. I, like or episode six and seven. Uh, you, uh, bitches, uh, don't, nah, don't you remember? Didn't the, care. The people didn't care. Though. Don't you remember the crowds growing? Yeah, they're like, they're like over that, over that, crowd. over that time. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was coming. Yeah, it was like, oh shoot, Trey and Vince, they coming in. With the, you know what I'm saying? So, and then when um. When I when I heard when I heard basic, I said that too in the uh, in the verse. If you go back mm-hmm. to the one from last year, I was like, I didn't even want to do this until I heard basic. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Know. And that's when because basic was like, oh man, I, like people be dissing me and stuff. I did this for basic I and vintage, but it was more like yeah, a yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. shout out yeah. this, like uh, you know what I'm saying? All right, yeah, you got to be a friend of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You heard it right, yeah. specifically. Yeah. I was like, what? I like to say though basic before like this is the this is the coolest atmosphere like the coolest I've ever seen basic you know because when we had the cypher uh-huh. he in the zone and he was right. 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 talking about he don't say nothing to nobody sir congratulations on season three yes sir that joint hard too come on man Shout out to Frank We're here at Common House for MVP Day. We have, obviously, Trademark, Vintage A, and Basic. Uh, right now, we're in the, we're in the theater room. Uh, we have a, a quick piece that we're gonna show them um, that they're gonna take a look at, just a little uh, tribute piece for our MVPs. Still giving them their flowers, and, you know, that's what it is about today. Stealth. I don't need to be seen. I don't need to bring no attention to me. 27 is starving. Bars been climbing up cause it ain't no mountain high enough like Marvin. You see plaid, I see tartan. The perception sharp and the message darken. Had writers block so long, I forever disrespect the margins. Bless the targets on the wall with that pen on Martin score. Say see truth seems so clear before there was an HD. Had green before an HD. I hear them stories you make up so much. I thought you was employed by Sephora lately. Say cheese. Show along, prove only the clock can stop me. Step the train and meet your death. Word of Foxy. Watch me box these opponents from the jump. They sweet. I know your feet is swollen up in the pumps. Uh, float if you want. I'm blunting this like the clumps. This beat who's precious. The other one is for lunch. Dinner. Text your main and she hit right back. How she gonna deserve you to be in the Hey, I'm a proud, but she's sick like that. You crying on the phone. I was gonna get right back. Nah, let the beat cry. Pop it like a deep fry. This flow's a short thing. Beat the court seaside. I ain't wanna do this till I heard basic. Wow. 
want all of y'all to get sent up. I feel like paying rent in this body is spin up. No times I ain't asking you to give a sin up. Christ paid the price after the father raised the friend up. Uh, serving at my stepchildren ain't hurting yet. They ain't off the gurry yet. I burn them and make sure they rest. I took a man like dinner forks and serviettes. I'm on the stage more cozy than a turtleneck. Styling, tuck the baby style, your knee bones. Shopping at white folk, nose and cheekbones. The walking Chico, I just be on stage throwing away the game like I ain't giving the beast mode. Became a legend, all it took was free show. Right after the C and the R, that's where the tree goes, it's trademark. Man. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. I thought you knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they would like me if your boy was just like everyone else. But I'm different and I deliver this like nobody else. So the swag is sophisticated, pimping what I orchestrate is vivid. Got the competition living. Gotta be turkey the way the boys think. Give and take your projects back I need that estate living quick as New York Minutes, vicious things in that new Porsche spinning Screw your boss, I'm spitting with a purpose or venom Boss linen, you go to that Hey yo, hey yo All I need is a Mac and an A Crack in the crate, you gon' think I'm slim fast I'm snatching that weight A few bullets pop, hit the back of your face Them hot point nines will move your back off your waist Smoke purple grass in the face Not a low, but my watch is like blue in the face Might move with an eight In case I gotta run through a jungle Or land a banana clip tear through your waist I'm a one-man team How you think the coach feel? Pockets, they gon' be like quick or oatmeal Smoke lemonade, eat smoke veal Where the bricks is made, it's a microwave sold in the old veal Shacks in the key like old Neil. Boy so real, took the sandals off, I gave her heels The man is soft, he need to chill, the cannons go off Spit slugs the size of potion deals, act like I'm supposed to chill I'm an animal, leave slugs like cannibal Try handle dude, I'ma dismantle you The barrel on a toast, be the size of a can of fruit Fuck, now I ride in the vanquish And when the wheels chirp, it sound like Spanish Shots make you vanish, front in the club Till the razor leave your guts out, messy like a man winch Shit and your man's a vanquish Abandoned buildings, move caps off campus I clap one, put you in an ambulance Write to a letter, then stamp it With the clown you was wearing Clown you a parent uh, No parents are orphans So I move with the cannons off and Put your whole block in the coffin You ain't never gonna be shit Your mama should've had an abortion Oh! Hold up! Hold up! Let's go! Yo, Thank you, radio. Snap! Dope. It's, it's just it's just Niggas don't rap a league Look, this ain't no hobby for me That's why they lobby for me I make them wait, what they gain is real I'll be to see Left with a gut feeling, it's gonna be a cold killer I want revenge, but I'ma wait until cold chillin' And that's not a shot, I'm on the block, see these into building Scanning the blueprints, confirming there's no ceilings Me, I got no limits, Silk was even shocked that I'm the one for the spot now And I don't need no feelings, ain't no capping in me I spit cavity free Opposition, I see everywhere, I'm like a blood Competition, I don't see nothing, I'm like a blood Last time I fell short, about a bar or two So I drunk text this verse to alcohol me through Straight to sudden death, but before I'm suicidal I make everybody wave to me once I take the title Fully engaged on the stage, married to the passion Even your bridal shower me with gifts the way I'm rapping Last time I brought the smoke to get Vince's drug But he didn't show up for the beef, he a vegan thug And I'm taking all the shots and I want all the tears Last time I had a fully loaded clock, you were not a peer. I told him all that you were not a peer. Cause I'm a beast boy, I'm Jerry's boy, you not a peer. A mismatch for this pissing match and you not a peer. Cause most of my punches to a head and you not a peer. I had enough with a name calling. Took a step back like I'm James Harden. Just to get aim on him. See dub, you'll never see a dub. Bet 20 bucks. Cause these are grown man bars and you ain't old enough. Swap a nine, swap a nine for every line you speak. And then maybe you'll have a shot at being elite. Please. Trick. I ain't begin to pull the trick, know that I'm scoping For anybody else who take a stab at me, I ain't worried I come back stabbing like I was never trustworthy I'm lost and I'm back snapping, I probably need surgery Lost and I'm back tracking the hoodie for the burglary Came with a mask off the purge, that's the urgency All y'all dying for me to lose, here's the murder spree One phone call to turn the black tea to burgundy Currently stressing on how to earn some more currency Might just beef over the bread like a burger beat You in sun and you're blindsided Leave both y'all lying for judging us for perjury. Leave both y'all.
for a certain fee. Where all the options will never pocket shit to hurt and beat. Crossing the line is my daughter crying, what's the courtesy? Either get rich or I die trying, like what courtesy? Power and get close and I'm gone, don't be searching me. No me, low key, every safer that you heard was weak. No me, low key, I be spilling, that's a furnace leak. What are you gonna do when you see a shark's turn to eat? I'm guessing currently, I got the cipher locked down. Watch how I turn the key. And open doors, got a hole, 804 hurt of me. If y'all want raise this, this how you get refer to me, nigga. Time, he stayed man. on that rhyme for like a minute. Yo, that was <laughs> mom, bro. What? That was That's crazy. <laughs> had to snap, bro. And it would go in and out of full line. Had What's this shit on Hulu? But you would keep that rhyme. We but then Hulu? like come, come back, on, yeah. yo. Oh, I'm a full line here. Step That's away dope. from it. Do full line over there. Come but on, kept that man. last rhyme the whole time. Yeah, uh -huh. That shit was yep. crazy. I feel like we on Hulu. <laughs> like we live, like we on major broadcasting systems with that. Like, nah, that joint was serious though. Like, that joint touched me in a in a in a in a special spot. Word up, it was dope. Really got to see, you know, growth, growth for for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That joint is tight, real nice, really, really, really well, very well put together. I had a little bit of mimosas, but it's very well put together. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it, it brought back some memories. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, I was able to just look at it as a fan. You know, these two, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, I like, I know I can spit bars, but just to see the bars from them again, crazy. And just seeing everybody's reaction and how I, so for me, I would notice when people would be, they'd be like this, first four bars, they'd be like, they look at you. Then they're just like, oh my gosh, and then they Wait, they out of character. Yeah, they out of yeah, character. They yeah. can't act no more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> they can't be like, oh, I ain't gonna give them no reaction. <laughs> you know, so it was cool seeing that. Man, seeing that brought me back to the way I was feeling before that actual episode, and 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 losing, and uh, like, you know, the, the episode before that, I wrote everything at Vintage and he wasn't there <laughs> so that was a mistake that I made and I learned from it I'm like okay bet I have this pent up energy well let me just shoot everywhere instead of trying to shoot just one person mm -hmm. and so that's why I'm sick of the name calling you know what I mean so it was like that episode really just that was like my peak I think for uh, being this whole run that was like really where I really peaked at and it just happened to be on the last night man that was just dope man yeah, dope. that was a great night it's just dope to look back and just to see the different the different seasons, the different moments that we've had, um, and just the excitement <laughs> in the culture and and to see these these MCs like they they each and and collectively and individually exemplify you know what what the rap elite platform and the culture is like really about you know what I'm saying like they really bring that energy. Um, and you know, in 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 that quick like eight minutes, it just like exemplifies like them as like artists and MCs and just the, the the tenaciousness and the hunger that they bring to the stage. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason. Like I feel like anybody that's watching or trying to you know try to hand at the platform can watch that eight minutes and get an understanding of yeah. what it takes to try to be yeah. the MVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was very well put together. And, and it, uh, it's a good example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very yeah. well put together. Shout out to Nick for putting that compliment. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Shout out to Nick. They identify with talent seen and build with you till you gentrify the talent scene. And those casual conversations turn to casualties. It's like you bring the arms out over bars and balanced beams. Was bullseye been the target for all kinds of shots? I'm anti and use the number one spot as a hiding spot. Probably why I've been on some BS as of late. Like if you contemplate, I'll bring the bull to your china shop. And all that back and forth is getting old to me. I'm at a point where I'm dismissing distance for an old to me. Good at first, never get the verses. Greg Oden me. Every bar gotta mean something. That's barcode to me. That's why I use my pen to be a leader instead of be led. Cause still thoughts can be a paralyzed stuck in your head. 
I had an idea to be legend by the time I'm dead. Then I made the motion since the light bulb popped in my head. I used to want to die at 45, immortalized, until about a year ago, I first saw my daughter's eyes. Now I'm in cruise control, 30 in a 45, real passion came back into play, Jordan 45, surviving daily off a salary that's barely 45, until I'm fortified and my income streams are fortified. So my vision is the road less traveled, not everyone will see. My mission is to bridge the gap and then a tunnel see. Some will take offense to the groundwork, lows come and leave. The highs are in addressing subtleties like what the dark room sheds light upon. Just a bunch of y'all in one area out of character. Comic Con, it's a shame that I have to comment on. Some of y'all ramen is frowned upon like eating ramen in Ramadan. New scoring system, more fire served at a flash. A tennis to point, so whatever our author is ash. My new name should be basic to truth when he rap. Words of wisdom, truth hurts like the tooth in the back. I'm highly suggested, directed at you when I rap. Your pyramid who try angles a cute way to rap. Nah, I don't hide from smoke. I go and find the smoke. A firefighter, I'm fighting fire with fire quotes. Shots fired, my reply, picture perfect. One eye open, so the only way I'll see the kaleidoscope. So if we're talking bar razor, y'all take the onus. I'm one of one in a trailblazer, that's just a bonus. Shining in every way. Blessings on top of blessings, receiving them every day. Move homage of Ali until the cash is clay. Roaches in my ashtray, walk out that bag of haze. Yeah, I feel like Freddy in the hallway. If you don't have a nightmare, I'm popping out on you broad day. You're better off taking the long way. We've been on that Nas Barkley. Roaches in my ashtray, walk out that bag of haze. Yeah, I feel like Freddy in the hallway. If you don't have a nightmare, I'm popping out on you broad day. You're better off taking the long way. We've been on that Nas Barkley. Shorty sure on that Feng Shui. Thighs was filet mignon, ate her like an arm. Entree. Headed for self-destruction and no one that's the wrong way Nigga let the song play Try to stand close when the horns blaze Every band blow get the gong bang Be clear Shit it be banging all night if we there Designer kicks your excitement like a free pair Oh yeah Since y'all owe me from that last joint Ain't nothing left to do but to squeeze when the Mac point Get it over and done with Smarting all you fools up That's on that dumb shit Could see all my shoes but never know who I run with And I could bring a tool for every Hater, you come with get done quick. Sunset, that's corona in the lungs with bronchitis. I fly high, you scared of heights. It's no comparison. Knowing when I'm up, that's a light switch. Take a nigga head off on camera for that ISIS. Y'all miss the 90s, I know. But what we won't do is let an era define me nor stymie me to flow. Can't depend on Barack Obama to find me some hope. And Trump a joke, but a system of this virus we know. Trey don't talk about the problems, go do something. Guess what? Doing the wrong thing like doing nothing. Mm. Demons among us, one is scared of the blues coming. They dread the day you slid through it. Cool runs. Three, six, who run it? The church gonna hate the reference, but who said Trey the reverend? Just know the cadence heaven sent. Speaking of heaven, good works are merely evidence of faith, but alone they will never make your spirit levitate. Mm. Two phones on me, got me feeling like. Kevin Gates, but the only plug Jesus, he got me in heaven gates. The only love I need is the one that he bled away. And the hate plug gonna stream in as soon as the levee break. But there's an escape boat. Money and power gonna die with this earth. Why would I chase those? I'm here to chase souls. In heaven court, God got a heavy case load. We all sinners, but that don't mean that the case closed. Trade. Mm. These are our MVPs. This is our MVP club. Trademark, vintage, basic. Who's gonna be MVP for season four? Will one of them repeat? Will it be one of you? That's what we need to know. Who's joining the MVP club? Because this is an annual event, MVP day. This wraps up MVP day. Um, I hope you've had a good time just viewing what we've, what we've done today and, and just the time that we've spent um, and, you know, if you're one of the MCs that's looking to get into the cypher, I hope to see you at MVP Day next year. This is a very, very, very prestigious group. It takes, it takes effort. It takes effort. It takes dedication. It takes commitment. It takes perseverance. It takes hunger. So, we see y'all next year. Peace. It takes thirst.